Hi. Welcome to the second part of the diode soldering. Um, I have been working on uh, separating the diodes and placing them in order so that I can go through this a little quicker. And I found that on the diodes that appeared to not have any writing on them, um, if I took my thumbnail and just scraped, then uh, it revealed the line and I could see what side to set it down on. So I've just been going through and I've just got a few more left. I'm at 35 of them. 38 total. So two more. Okay, I can just line them all up so that I can go through a little quicker. I say one great thing about having a rep wrap is that it helps you with any other project you end up working on. Because if I had never had a rep wrap, but then I started working on this project, I mean, I still could have done it. I just would have had to buy my case instead of print it out myself. It's like the rep wrap. It's like the best first project if you like doing stuff like this because you know, it helps you with everything else you do. So if you don't have a rep wrap, consider getting one or any 3D printer for that matter. If you like my videos, then you might like the rep wrap side so. And if you'd like to build a rep wrap, I have a video series on how to do that. So go check out my channel. Okay, um, so this is actually going to be the right hand, the right side of the keyboard. So, you know, the diodes get soldered to the bottom side. So notice it says left hand right here. This is actually the right hand though. We're on the bottom side of it. And on this one, the uh, cathode uh, is facing left on most of all of these, you know, left or up. Oh, this is nice having them all lined up like this.
for some for some reason, the Weird Al Yankovic song, like a surgeon, keeps coming to mind. Um, oh, it's because I keep thinking that, uh, surgeons need to have steady hands, and I do not. I find this to be rather difficult. It's so much easier to line them all up first. There's probably very few people watching at this point because you could have just skipped ahead. So if you are watching, you should leave a comment. So I'd like to know, do people really watch these videos all the way through, even if it's redundant? Or send me a message. I think I must be getting excited that I'm almost done and I started speeding up.
Um, after this, I'm also going to go through and just uh, look at all of them and make sure that I have the cathode in the right direction. I mean, some of these are really hard to read, so I just want to make sure that I got it right. But um, I have a pretty good feeling that the diodes are done. And that part of the process really was not so bad. I mean, that was probably the most tedious part. Still a lot more soldering needs to be done, but that wasn't too bad. So this video only took 12 minutes. I think it was worth lining them all up first before starting. So if you're watching this before you get to doing it, you know, I recommend that. But these look pretty good. I'm also just going to check and just make sure that I don't see any solder going in between the diodes to, you know, cause a short. But um, anyway, in the next video, um, I plan to uh, do the resistors. And if there's enough time, I'm also going to do the IO expander. So thanks for watching.